who are fighting to end this. And all of us today, we have to make a pledge that we are going to act now and not just be in the streets, but actually be fucking hitting the books together, getting serious, getting scientific, collectivizing, and actually actively working on this. So right now, let's make a pledge to raise your fist in the air. And let's start. No! No! In the name of humanity! In the name of humanity! We refuse to accept! We refuse to accept! A fascist America! A fascist America! Never again! Never again! Never again! Never again! Will I be silent? Will I be silent? We'll stand together! We'll stand together! Black and brown and bodies were lying in the streets and dead. 
That is the reality. So the enemy is not the politician, it's the motherfucking system. Anything, if I want y'all to leave here with anything, it's that we need to 
start providing answers to these questions for each other. That if black women cannot call the police when their houses are robbed, who are they to call? Will you pick up your phone? Will you get up and do something? Will you have answers for those of us who are left with answers far too often? So before you leave here today, get to know somebody. Ask those questions that don't yet have answers. Because we can't wait on a specific date to get us free. We can't wait on a policy to get us free. We have to look towards each other. All right? So to close this out, I want to make a little bit of noise. Ten times. Ten times. We're going to chant the roof off of this. All right? Black Lives Matter. Y'all ready? Yes. They have to hear our voices. Yes. They have to hear our voices. We need to mourn. We need to let the grief out. Right? Yes. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter.
Because Black Lives Matter. Because Black Lives Matter. We're here tonight. We're here tonight. Because Black Women Matter. Because Black Women Matter. We're here tonight. We're here tonight. Charlena Lyle. Charlena Lyle. I'll now tell you some facts. I'll now tell you some facts about her murder. About her murder. Fact one. Fact one. Charlena Lyles was a 30-year-old black woman. Charlena Lyles was a 30-year-old black woman. And survivor. And survivor. Of domestic violence. Of domestic violence. Living with mental illness. Living with mental illness. In Seattle, Washington. In Seattle, Washington. She had four children. She had four children. And was three months pregnant. And was three months pregnant. At the time of her murder. At the time of her murder. Fact two. Fact two. On June 18, 2017. On June 18, 2017. Charlena called 911. Charlena called 911. To report an attempted burglary. To report an attempted burglary. Even though. Even though. Seattle police. Seattle police. Were aware. Were aware. Of her mental health issues. Of her mental health issues. Several officers responded. Several officers responded. With tactical gear. With tactical gear. And assault rifles. And assault rifles. Fact three. Fact three. Video shows. Video shows. An officer shout up. An officer shout up. To Charlena's fourth floor apartment. To Charlena's fourth floor apartment. Saying. Saying. You're not going to get shot. You're not going to get shot. Everything's under control. Everything's under control. Two white officers. Two white officers. Then went up to her apartment. Then went up to her apartment. When they saw Charlena standing in her doorway. When they saw Charlena standing in her doorway. They shot her several times. They shot her several times. In the stomach. In the stomach. Killing her. Killing her. And her unborn child. And her unborn child. In front of her children. In front of her children. Her children, her children were forced to step over her body. Were forced to step over her body to leave the apartment. To leave the apartment. Fact four. Fact four. In 2012. In 2012. Department of Justice investigation. Department of Justice investigation found evidence of racial bias. Found evidence of racial bias and routine use. And routine use of excessive force. Of excessive force. In the Seattle Police Department. In the Seattle Police Department. Particularly. Particularly against people with mental illness. Against people with mental illness. Fact five. Fact five. The two officers. The two officers have not been arrested. Have not been arrested. And their names have not been released. And their names have not been released. The Seattle mayor. The Seattle mayor. Ed Murray. Ed Murray said his thoughts. Said his thoughts are with the officers. Are with the officers who murdered Charlena. Who murdered Charlena. Justice for Charlena Lyles. Say her name. Charlena Lyles. Justice for Charlena Lyles. Who they killed? Charlena Lyles. What do we want? Justice. And where do we go on it? Now. Never disrespect your own people. Don't ever form a perimeter around your own people. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Take your fucking hand off your gun! Women's liberation!
fashion, at the end of every People's Monday, we say some words from Asada Shakur that are very powerful and personally keep us going. So if y'all want to get in a circle or not, we can just do it right here. <laughs> but by the third time, I want everybody to hear us. I want the ancestors to hear us. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Stop. 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 